Welcome to our first installation video for Garnier's campaign modification. We'll be demonstrating each of the three steps to install this modification. Let's get started by booting your browser. After the browser is running, enter www.sowmp.com and hit return. This will take you to the GMC Mod web page. On the GCM homepage, there are instructions for each of the steps that we will demonstrate in turn in a few minutes. On the home page, you're clicking New Players, click here. Okay, so let's create an SOWMP or GCM account and password. Please write these down as you will need them in step 3. You are entering a username, email address, and a password. Confirm the password and that you are human by answering yes. Hit the register button. Username and password are used to log into the website and enter the queue to get into each multiplayer battle. Notice in the upper right hand corner that your new user is logged on. By selecting the second step, we will load the TeamSpeak page of the GCM website. There is a link to the TeamSpeak website where you can download the client. The client is specific to your operating system. Select the appropriate client for yours. According to the TeamSpeak forums, Windows 8 users should be running the program in Windows 7 compatibility mode. Set the compatibility in the compatibility tab at the shortcut or application properties. There are members running the game on Windows 8. We can get them to assist. Check the GCM form also for advice on running TeamSpeak on Windows 8. Ensure that you know your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit and install the appropriate Windows 7 client. TeamSpeak 3 Client is a free program to download and use. We will be using an established server account. TeamSpeak is used to allow us to communicate during the battle and to coordinate setting up the game players in a battle. It is not required, but highly recommended. Once your client download is completed, go to the Downloads directory and double-click on the application installer. This will launch the TeamSpeak 3 installation for your system. The installer extracts the client files and starts a wizard. Click on the next key and agree to the EULA by pressing I agree. Select the appropriate installation option for you. The default is to install for all users on your system. Click the next key to launch the install. I'm not installing in order to ensure my game configuration is preserved. We will pick up again after your successful installation and look at how to configure the client. After the installation is complete, launch TeamSpeak 3 by double-clicking on the desktop shortcut. Your client should be a full window, but it can be reduced as you see mine, if you desire. The process to connect is the same. 
To connect to our server, activate the connection drop-down off the menu on the top bar. Select Connect to open the connection dialog box. In the server address box, enter the appropriate server address. You may want to bring up GCM's TeamSpeak page, like I have, to enter this information. Select a nickname of your choice. The nickname only applies to TeamSpeak. Use the same name as your login username to be consistent, although that's not the proverbial game stopper. It does make it easier on our hosts to be able to coordinate getting you into games. New users do not require a password, so leave it blank. Press connect and our channel should activate. An administrator for TeamSpeak will need to register you so that you can move around, but you now have access to the entrance. Leave it open and someone will be along to register or just say hi. Other configuration information is available on the GCM TeamSpeak page to aid you in configuring other TeamSpeak options. Take some time to read this information later. It covers older versions of the client, but the basic ideas are the same. There is a TeamSpeak video embedded in the GCM page also to help you better understand the client. And now for step three, the installation of the game modification and maps to allow you to play with the GCM community. Select the third step. Notice that as you scroll down, there are instructions. At the top of the page, select and download the GCM launcher. The file is about one megabyte in size and should download quickly. Go to your downloads directory and double click on the file to start the install. The dialog box warning is because there's no certificate for the particular program. It's okay though. Click on the run to start the process of installing the multiplayer modification. The modification is one to Scourge of War Gettysburg and must be installed in the correct directory to work. Ensure that it is installed in the C Matrix Games Scourge of War Gettysburg directory. It will create a GCM directory in your game install directory. Once you have confirmed the correct target for the file, click on Install, then Next to continue. Ensure that the Launch GCM Now checkbox is checked. Then click on Close to complete the install. The desktop shortcut will be created. If the launcher does not start automatically, it can be started from your desktop. Either way, the launcher will ask you on a new install to log into GCM. Enter your new username and password that you wrote down during step one of this video. We will now complete your initial login to GCM Launcher. Once this is complete, the username and password are recorded and you will be logged in automatically from this point forward. Hit OK. You will only see this launcher window on the first login. Select the Create Multiplayer Divisions option to pick your troops. These commanders are permanent, they cannot be changed, so think about it carefully. You will create a division commander from both the Union and the Confederacy. Gameplay has you playing one side or the other in each game. There are many names that you may be able to choose from, or you may select the random generation option. Check the list carefully as you may be related to a Civil War general. For each division, you are selecting a state, a first name, middle initial, and a surname. The list allows quite a lot of creativity. There are some players who have their names in their in-game division commanders. Player-created names are not allowed, but the list of names that are available is truly extensive and exhaustive. You should be able to get very close to any name you may really want. 
Lee and Meade are commanders at Gettysburg, uh, are automatic and included in the, ga in the game. Uh, I would recommend not selecting them as it could create confusion. At this point, we will select OK and move on to selecting our Confederate division. We have now completed the process of setting up the GCM mod for Scourge of War Gettysburg. When you log in next, you will see the launch screen that's shown. Be sure to run it each day to ensure that you get your updates. Maps are updated periodically and everybody must manage. Updates are automatic. Congratulations, you have installed the mod. Make sure that you get tested out with someone in the community. Thanks for watching this video.